everyone and welcome to S3 Bubble. So in this video tutorial we're going to go through how to prevent your videos from being downloaded. Okay, so first thing to do is um, we have a lot of people ask us how they can secure their content online. Now it's not a simple process so um, you're going to have to get your hands dirty a little bit to understand it. Um, but once you've done it then you will have a, a clear workflow um, moving forward. Okay, so the first things to do is test your current videos. So if you just open up one of your videos on your site, I've just got our page open. And then go over to, for Chrome, go over to um, search for Chrome extensions and then what you want to do is search for Skyload okay and then if you click enter and then you can have video downloaded by Skyload okay so when you're on your video page you'll have a new notification in the top here and you can click it and then it will show you the videos on your page and you can select here and click download okay so a similar thing with Firefox let me just uh, minimize the window a little bit so in Firefox, search for um, Firefox add-ons or Firefox extensions and then start to type video download helper and then you'll see the video download helper and simply add that to your browser and then again when you get the icon in your browser here you can click and then it'll ask you if you want to download the videos here. Yeah, okay, So go ahead and run those tests on your videos first and just see if it's super easy for people to just grab your content and obviously if you're monetizing your content um, this can be um, really um, detrimental to your business plan and your business workflow if you're say students that are watching your tutorials are simply just downloading them sharing them with your friends um, it can really really impact your profit margins okay so we're going to show you how to prevent doing that okay so to start off with we've just got our selection of our files here we've got our subtitles our mp4 which is just a trailer of Maleficent and we've got audio files here so one thing I just wanted to do quickly is we've got a Biff desktop app and you don't really need to know what all this is just just all you need to know is if you drag your video file into it what it's going to do is it's going to process your video and it's going to create a .bif file in your folder okay so you can see we've got a .bif file here and we're just doing that at the start because it makes things easier moving forward and all the only reason we're doing that is because it, it could create um, Netflix style thumbnails that you can see on here that are super um, super handy and a really nice um, UI feature okay so that's the only reason we're doing that don't get snowed under with what's a BIF file and all that kind of stuff just realize that that's just one thing that you can do okay so th first things first we want to be using Amazon Web Services because Amazon Web Services are what we're going to be using to encode this mp4 into HLS adaptive bitrate the correct format encrypting all these segments with AES 128 bit encryption and then we're going to be storing the key okay and the key is what is used to decrypt the files as the video plays back okay so that's just a kind of basic over overview of how um, how simple everything works okay um, but let's just go ahead and get set up so what I've done is I've just created a new s3 bubble account here sorry I just had to find it okay so it's completely blank I've just set up called it DRM video and what you want to do to start off with is we want to actually connect S3 bubble to Amazon Web Services so Amazon Web Services have got all these amazing tools and, and excellent services that you can use and S3 bubble is just going to use the ones needed to set up secure streaming okay so but we need to make that connection so S3 bubble can talk to it so under security identity and compliance we want to go to IAM connection okay and it's the same thing under services so you want to go to security identity and com compliance I am connection okay and we want to go over to policies and we're going to create a new policy okay we're going to be creating JSON and we need to find some JSON to paste in here okay so we've nicely just set you up with the JSON policy in S3 bubble so again just under I am policies go back paste it in review policy we'll give it a name we'll call this S3 B DRM and uh, protecting videos Okay, so we can just see and create our policy. Okay, so we've created a policy. Now that policy needs to be used by a user. Again, don't get too confused with all this. Um, once you've got it up and running, you don't really need to worry about too much of this. But essentially, we need to add that policy to a user. And we'll just call this user S3B DRM. Programmatic access, because we want keys. And we're going to go over to the next account. And we want to attach our existing policy. That's the policy we just created, S3B. Okay, next add tags. We're not going to add tags and we're just going to review and we're going to create the user. Okay, so what's that done? What's that done now? Okay, so what we've done is we've created a user in AWS under IAM Identity and Access Management and that's given us keys that will then allow S3 Bubble to call our AWS account for us. Okay, so I'm just going to paste these keys 
into S3 bubble under the connection section here. So the eight access key and secret key. So I'll just do that now. Okay, so I've pasted in my keys here and I'm gonna click submit. Okay, great. So it says they're saved and now it's just gonna go off and check our keys. So as you can see, we're already connected to S3. We're connected to CloudFront. So that means we're pretty much connected to everything we want. We're not doing any of the media live stuff. We're not doing live streaming, but we're doing media convert. That will, this is the service that we'll be using to encrypt our videos. You can see they're all green. So let's go ahead and set up our workflow. So again, under storage and S3, let's do a full OTT AWS setup. And again, we'll call this S3B DRM. We're just gonna do it in the US region and we're not gonna be using Glacier, okay? So let's just create this setup. And it just says, please wait for a minute. And then what this is doing is now we've made the connection, we're running calls on your behalf to set up your AWS environment for you, okay? So everything that you can see in here, Again, so storage and S3. You can see that we're setting up the two buckets for you. We're applying the policies. We're setting up a CloudFront distribution for our delivery bucket. And we're running all the essential tools needed to get you up and running with your workflow. Okay, so now we're up and running with this. Let's go into our bucket. Okay, and we could drag our files in here. So any small files you can drag into the quick uploader, but any large files we suggest using the AWS uploader. So we're just going to use the AWS uploader, just for argument's sake, because you're going to be using videos that are above 50 meg. So let's just grab all our files. Okay, we can leave the BIF file for now. And just drag it in here. Okay, and just go to next to all. You can leave all the um, values default. And we're just going to give that a second and that's going to upload. So as you can see, when it's just uploading files, if we go back to our S3 bucket and run a refresh, then you can see our files are actually showing also in S3 bubble because we've made the connection. So it's simply just syncing with Amazon Web Services. Okay. So while that's happening, I'm just going to open up Notepad. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start grabbing some of our URLs. Okay. So we can just take the URL here and we're going to be using this in our encoding job. I'm just going to paste that down here. Let's go back to Amazon and you can see it's uploaded the MP4. It's just uploading some of our audio renditions now. So let's just grab one of them. I don't think I'm going to use all the audio renditions. So we still need to give it a second for it to upload. So I'm just going to pause the video where this just uploads all the assets. Okay, great. So as you can see, all our files have been uploaded here. So now all our files are no longer on the desktop, on our computer. They're in the cloud in Amazon Web Services on an S3 bucket. Okay, so that's where they are. So again, you can come back to S3 bubble and run a refresh and you'll see all your files neatly um, laid out. So I'm just going to copy the URL for our audio rendition and a URL for our subtitles. Okay, so now our file is here. We've got our MP4. It's in the cloud. What do we want to do with it? Okay, so what we want to do is we want to encrypt it, um, encode it, and then encrypt it. Um, so we're going to encode it to HLS, and then we're going to encrypt it using um, AES 128-bit encryption and storing the key, etc. So a couple of things we need to do before we create our encryption job. So we want to go over to our WordPress site because we're going to be outputting this to a WordPress website. Okay, so you want to make sure you've got the S3 bubble. Um, protected DRM video streaming plugin installed so you can grab that in the footer of the S3 bubble website or search in WordPress and then under the left hand sidebar what you'll see is if you scroll down a DRM secure proxy URL okay so this is what we need to grab we're going to copy and paste that and we're going to be using that to actually encrypt our job okay so let's go back again you don't really need to know all the ins and outs of all the technology that's going on for you you really just want to protect your video content um, and save lots of money um, by people just simply downloading your videos and sharing them okay and this is what we're doing again it's a complex pro complex process that we're trying to like narrow down for you to be able to use so what we want to do is we want to go over to our mp4 and we go to media convert okay and then we want to go to um, I'm just going to paste my proxy URL into my notepad as well and then under captions I'm just going to add a caption add some captions sorry and these are just going to be English uh, yep, English and then the path and then our audio description I'm just going to grab the URL that we copied earlier paste it in here this can be English as well this can be English subs okay so I'll just put English Okay, and we're going to leave that blank. We're not going to be watermarking this video. Um, and then I'm just going to go and grab the proxy URL that we got from the WordPress website. So we're putting in the proxy URL here. 
save and continue save and continue we're not going to be using advertising but you can do some advanced custom advertising and now the bucket that we want to output it to is our delivery bucket okay because it's going to be delivering our content I'm going to use a random ID but you can put in any folder path that you want as long as you don't put spaces etc etc okay you want to make sure it's um, A to Z um, or lowercase essentially uh, save and continue and then we're going to be using the CloudFront, um, CloudFront distribution sorry that's been set up for us by S3 bubble and encoding template okay so we want to use the S3 bubble OTT HLS cost saving template now if you haven't got that in your setup I'm going to show you how you can get it so save and continue submit uh, do you want to go to your jobs? Yes. So once we're in our jobs, you can see that it's progressing now. So what this is doing is in Media Convert, it's actually encrypting, encoding, and encrypting our content for delivery. Okay, so that's what's happening now in AWS. Now, if you didn't have that OTT template, simply go over to Encoding Templates and just under Actions, put Add Cost Saving OTT HD, um, Template, and then you'll see that there for you to be able to um, deliver your job. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pause the video while this goes off and um, encodes and encrypts our content for HLS. Okay, great. So as you can see, our video is now completed encoding. So if we go ahead and view the video, we're going to get an error, okay? Now, the reason the video won't play here and it should never play here is because it's, we've set it up to only play on your website. That's what we're doing with the URL here. We're only allowing the video to play from your WordPress website. So it'll never play in the dashboard. So if you come here and you're like, the video is not playing, why is the video not playing? It should never play from the dashboard. Okay, so just please bear that in mind. But what we want to do is we want to upload our Biff thumbnail that we created earlier. Okay, and just give that a second to upload. Okay, that's going to give us the Netflix uh, UI thumbnails. Okay, and now what we want to do is we want to grab our code. We can grab it from here or we can grab it up here, wherever you want to grab it from. And then let's head back to our website under posts click add new okay and what we're going to do is go to give it a title and we'll just call this secure DRM uh, I'm going to add a block DRM video and we want to paste our code in here okay so just paste the code in now here's where if you've got WooCommerce installed you can at actually attach it to a WooCommerce product and you can also add a kind of teaser so if you've attached it to a WooCommerce product um, let's say full tutorial and you want them to just see 30 seconds of the video and then it's going to ask them to actually pay for the product which is really good functionality then you can also do the WooCommerce stuff here okay um, we're going to simply publish okay and um, then we're going to go ahead and view the post okay and we can click play and you can see the video is playing here okay so what, so what have we actually done so let's go ahead to sky load and then under here let's go to um, any of these you can test this for yourself click download so you can see it's downloading and it's going red okay so what that'll do is it'll download it to your desktop so you might think that it's actually downloaded but you're only going to get this okay you're going to get an encrypted file it's going to be completely useless okay so that has secured your content for um, Skyloader and again let's come into um, Firefox okay and you can see our video is going to play back and then download extension so which one is it it can be yeah secure DRM this is the one um, download button here okay and you can see it goes red okay so it's just it's denying it from being downloaded so we've protected our content so that's great that's exactly what you want to do so a couple of other things that we could do quickly is let's just say we want to add a video poster um, let's just go in here and type in a uh, uh, tech okay and then let's just use uh, this one we click uh, save link as and we're going to save it to the downloads folder okay and then um, sorry we could just open that up uh, let's go and grab it from the downloads folder where is it here and just drag it into our poster image okay and then under meta we can add uh, your chain secure video. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, update. Oh, and here you could also add playback rates, etc., etc., etc. You know, you can add a share button, skip buttons, anything like that. 
okay and then this will update on your actual website okay so we click in play it should have mentioned that we've got captions okay and then English um, audio descriptions as well and then our overlay thumbnails okay so we're up and running that was a lot to go through because um, we're setting everything up from scratch remember but what I also wanted to do in this video tutorial is just to show you how to add another video okay because you're skipping all the steps that you previously did because you're already set up so if we wanted to add another video okay so storage go into a storage bucket okay let's upload our video We've just got one here uh, go to uploads this is a smaller video leave it all blank so you upload your content and there's a couple of different desktop apps that you can actually use um, to upload your content um, so I'm just going to pause the video while this uploads okay so your video is uploaded right, okay you can just run a refresh and you can organize everything into folders if you want so we've got a video I'm going to go to media convert save and continue we're not going to be adding captions on this one so we just need to grab our DRM proxy URL okay so you can also grab it from here but it will, again it would be in the left hand side sidebar so we go under here, DRM proxy URL, save and continue, save and continue, um, we're not doing adverts, where are we going to output it to, delivery bucket remember, use a random ID, distribution deployed, that's our distribution, and for encoding template we're going to be using our OTT cost saver, and submit. Okay, yes, so we all we need to do now is we just wait for that to um, go through and progress and encode our video and as soon as that's done we can simply take our code well, actually I'm just gonna pause the video and wait for this to progress because I'm gonna show you another way that you can just simply add your code in WordPress okay great so as you can see that's now completed um, processing so let's just go ahead and view the player again the player is not gonna play here okay it's just gonna be blank and it won't play so just remember but there's another way you can simply add the code so if we just copy the code here for this one so s3 global data setup then we can go in and you can just simply paste that in any HTML um, setup within your WordPress site. Okay, so it doesn't have to be using the blocks. Okay, you can simply just paste the code in here, click update. Okay, now if we view the post, yeah, you can see that we've got our video playing here. Okay.